Welcome back trainers, back at it, part two of Master League. So again we start off with Melmetal against a Togekiss lead. We are ready to switch and we're countering with Dialga. Having that window ready is very helpful in doing a fast switch, which uh, every moment is essential. Block the Shadow Ball, and we're going to try to chip away at him, hopefully take one of those shields, and we do, and then we'll just farm down, get a lot of energy, right here we'll just take it, and on the off chance it might be ominous, nope, Shadow Ball that's okay, just farming down, shield for shield, So we can't get the iron head off. We're gonna switch into our Mel Metal, but we'll let the time run down. That way when we hit our superpowers, we'll be able to switch immediately with the timer reset on that switch. So again, two superpowers back to back. Maybe we'll get the shield, and I think he'll just let it down. Nope, he does shield it. So we'll just farm away. This is setting it up really good. In case this is a thunder. Oh, Draco Meteor, just as good. So we're being even really good. This is debatable if you wanna one shot it with Blizzard, but with Surf, You'll be able to farm down, and then you'll have a blizzard ready as soon as it switches out. Mm, assuming this is an ancient power. And it is. Due to the nerf, it does very little damage. And we'll be able to take it with the MVP. I really feel that playing with the same team will make you a better battler. You don't want to keep switching your Pokemon unless it's really just not doing really well. I think once you finish a couple sets you can determine if you have to make some adjustments with your team. But for the most part, if you've seen it done by other people, there's really no reason to have to switch anything up drastically. So it's less of a headache. So we get our two superpowers, and again we do the switch. Maybe we even get a superpower out of him. Let's see. Rock slide. That's a. That is fine. So I th believe he's making the decision to fight it out so that way he doesn't lose the lead switch. Not bad. We're going to hit him with the surf. So Kyogre has a good matchup against both Melmetal and Togekiss. He's doing a lot of damage here. So right here, I believe we'll be able to farm down with our Melmetal. Melmetal is so good against Togekiss. We just have to watch out for Flamethrower, which is really scary. Alright, he's just going to let it go down. That's alright. I switch right away, I have a feeling he's just going to... Or this might be a sand tomb. I'm predicting it. Nope, it is not a sand tomb. But that is fine. I keep 
keep farming down. No matter what it is, we're going to shield it. No point dying to an earthquake. Alright. Just keep farming down, keep farming down. No reason to have to waste any energy. I'm gonna fire everything we got on this guy. Oh, oh. Back to back. We have enough for a second one. That was a lot of farming. Build up a lot of energy to do two back to back. Oh, he has his own Kyogre. Not a hundred percent, though. So we'll stay in, try to win the lead. Not the greatest matchup, but we do have two shields. Just gonna shield it. If you wanna win lead, you gotta defend. I think I just take it. No, we're committing. Right, hopefully we get that rock slide. And then commit to the farm down, I'm assuming. nowadays. We'll go to Kyogre just because our Melmetal took such a beating. And we don't want to risk getting flamethrowered. Pressures Kyogre very well. I like to either use Dialga or a Dragonite. I'm happy where the battle is going. that blizzard. This is for sure going to be surf. Just take that and farm down. Don't really need to take risks if you don't need to. Alright, let's see what he brings out next. We win the lead. Hmm. 
Alright, now that all seems to be perfect choice. And then of course we'll have that safe switch. Let's get to two superpower. Oh, he's switching to Groudon. And we have the perfect counter to a Groudon. It's Arch Nemesis, the Kyogre. Shiny versus shiny. We got a shiny battle. This is just going really well. It could be Solar Beam. Oh, got baited. But, you know, that is okay. He's gonna now do his earthquake. So this is one of those moments where you just... I don't know. But it wasn't a solar beam. Let's get some damage out before we go down. And have him farm us down. If you could switch, I'd switch. We switch. There we go. Let's get two superpowers in. There it is. Just enough to take the win. Thank you for watching.